Hey guys, it is Michelle and I have an awesome, awesome haul. I am very, very happy with myself on this particular one. Um, I got off of work, I did some errands and then I went to Walmart because I wanted to pick up something because it was on sale or clearance, I should say. And then when I went there, everything that was Christmas was 75% off. So I had an awesome time. Everything that I'm about to show you did not cost me 20 bucks. I got changed back from a 20. So I'm just going to get started. Um, I got some gift wrap because this year we almost ran out. I went and I picked up two while during the Christmas season, which I normally don't do. I normally, I don't think I've ever bought Christmas wrap um, during the holiday season. That's one of those things I wait for. Kind of like with Christmas cards, I always wait for after. But I had so many this year, I didn't even bother. But um, we needed more wrapping paper. And this is the one that Joey liked. This one has, he loves the Santas. He likes the old-fashioned Santa Clauses. And this has some really cute Santas and Christmas trees and stuff. So this is originally $3.99. Oh, and it comes with this tape adhesive with it as well. We'll try that next year. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I paid 99 cents for this roll. And you get... 30 square feet, which is a pretty decent amount, considering 90, for 99 cents, I will not be putting my nose up to that. Then I bought this one. This one came to like a dollar twenty, I believe. And there's two rolls. I was gonna get a glittery roll for the same price, but you literally got double when you bought this. And it's a little metallic-y, even though I love the glitter. Um, I chose not to because I figured this could be more for men or women, whereas the glittery ones really you can't. So this one just says Merry Christmas. Seasons greetings, holly jolly Christmas. It says all kinds of cute sayings. And then I liked this one with the poinsettias on it. Because to me, that's um, that's very, very Christmassy. It's a very traditional, old-fashioned-y Christmas kind of paper. I really like that. I mean, if you're into Spider-Man and Star Wars, they have all that Christmas-themed paper right now, too. Like, a, a ton of it. Um, I, tri I like the more traditional ones. I really don't like the uh, licensed character ones. Uh, if I do do licensed character, it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I don't do the Disney princesses or the Star Wars ones. That's just me, though. Um, the main reason why I went there is because I am making ornaments, and these were originally 96 cents, and they were 24 cents, so I got... Let me see how many's here. One I had to put back because it was broken. I got three of the light-looking ones. Oh, this one has a little thing in it, a dent. I probably caused the dent. A smaller one, but I can take that dent out. And then one, two, three, four, five, six of these. And then I only found one of these, but I thought I could have fun with this one as well. So there's like three hours, a little under, because I had to put one away because it had a dent in it when I got to the register. So I didn't want to um, buy it. Next, I got two packs of these multicolor mini lights. Joey likes the colored lights. I do too. Growing up, we only had white lights in the house, but um, I don't live with my folks no more, which is awesome. So that means I can do what I want. So I got two packs of these. These are normally $2.50, which is a great price, but I paid 62 cents. So like I said, guys, if you can hold out till after the holidays, do it. You're saving yourself a ton of money. So obviously we'll not be putting these up this year, but I figured if we don't put them on the tree, we can put them around doorways or something along those lines. So I'm looking forward to using these. And these are indoor and outdoor use. So if I wanted to, I could put these outside as well. That might be fun. We've never done that. So I'm um, looking forward to this. I might go back to get two more because I might put them outside. I haven't fully decided yet, but that is awesome 62 cents you can't go wrong they're all their lights are 75 percent off right now so i strongly recommend it next i've been wanting this for a while but because of the price i didn't want to spend full price on it um even though it was definitely worth the full price it is this it is this beautiful gold nativity now in the area i'm in all of the religious stuff is on 75 percent off um they're uh, I guess there's not a lot of religious people where I live, which is cool. You know, whatever religion you are, that's awesome. But um, it's awesome for me because that means I get to get the stuff for super cheap. 
Anyway, I had been eyeballing this for quite some time and I almost got it at the 50% because for $5 I thought it was a good deal. But I ended up buying other things instead, so I put it back. So when I went there, I was like, well, let me price check it just to double check, you know, how much it is. And it rang up $2. And I was like, I gotta get it. I, it's not gonna get, it doesn't get much better than that. And it was originally $9.98. Like I said, um, at full price, it was awesome. I was hoping that I would catch it on clearance. And I'm so glad I did. This was the last one. They had a cross as well. But I didn't like the cross as much as I liked this. And it is, look how the light hits it. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. I can't wait to um, put it out next year. Um, we keep the tree up until Three Kings Day. So I will be displaying this somewhere in the house for now. But I really love this. I'm very excited about this one. It's very, very nice. Isn't it? I love it for $2. I think I did good. I think that was the most expensive thing I bought. I think it is. Next... I went crazy on these. Now, I did buy a few of these before Christmas, um, full price, at a dollar a piece, which isn't bad. I got these little cupcake bath fizzies. Now, I went and I bought a, one or two when I was with my friend. I think I paid 50 cents for them then. They smell so good, and they got a little bit of glitter and, like, little sprinkles on them and stuff. Which is really cute. Look at that. Right? They smell great. So these were 25 cents each. I got $2 worth. So I got eight of them. I do have a Lush package coming my way. It's in the mail. I cannot wait till it gets here. But sometimes... What's what I'm looking for? Using Lush in your bath every darn time can get very expensive. So... Even though I love Lush bath bombs, the quality the, the quality is not going to be a Lush bath bomb in here. Not at all. We already know this. But just for the fun of it, it has a little fizzy and the, the cupcake smell. For $0.25, cents, you know, it's a fun experience. So I got a bunch of these. I might save some of them um, as little extras. Because like, when I give out, even when I, well, when I give giveaways, you guys know you get extras. And... Um, even with friends, I'll give them a main birthday gift, but then I'll throw in cute little things like this as well, just for the fun of it. So, I got eight of these. So, I got a wall of cupcakes. Again, this may be something I might go back for again this week, because they were so cheap, and they do make great little stuffers. Because I do have a few birthdays coming up, so that might be something fun for them. Next, now I got these originally with my mother in mind, because this is up her alley. Um, I'll probably keep a couple for myself, maybe, because the scent of this is really awesome. But they were originally $2.50, and then when they were 50% off, I almost bought one for my mom to put away for for next year, because she likes these kinds of things. But I put it back then. And then when I realized that these were only, when I scanned them, were only $0.62, cents, I bought all that they had. So, this is by Paradise Spa. It's Winter Snow hand soap. Now, this smells very similar to sparkling snow from Bath & Body Works, so I actually like the scent of it. This stuff is really nice. It's got a very nice... It smells like the sparkling uh, snow from Bath and & Body. And for $0.62, cents, uh, you really can't go wrong with it. Now, it is the nativity scene, as you can see. Now, my mother loves odd-shaped soap bottles. She's got tons of them um she's got snowmen she's got santas she got this year one with a very old old-fashioned almost like a norman rockwell type painting on it actually the soap smells really good it's she, she got it at tj maxx but she really likes these um soap dispensers that have interesting shapes or pictures on them she has an angel one that she keeps out pretty much year round um all kinds of weird shaped ones. So when I saw this, this is definitely my mother in a nutshell. She will put these all over anywhere there's a saying she'll have one of these. So I like the scent and I'm definitely going to hang on to at least two of them for her. I bought four. Like I said, I cleared them out on this one um, for the price. It was worth it. She's definitely going to get two of them. The other two I might keep for myself because I really do like the fragrance. I will not keep the Packaging, probably? I don't know. I'll have to see. 
because typically there's very few because I have an owl that I have right now that I, I'm going to save for lotion. Actually, I might do that with one of these. I might fill it for lotion for Christmas time. So that might be because I hate throwing plastics out. You know what I mean? I'll figure out something to do with this or maybe I'll turn it into like a snow globey kind of a thing. I haven't figured that out yet. But um, my mom's definitely getting two. I might keep the other two. Probably going to keep at least one for myself. Last but certainly not least, they carry these, Target's carries these. I look at them every year and every year I put them down because I'm like, well, I can, um, I'll get them some other time. I'll get them on clearance. By the time I get to them on clearance, they're either broken or they're sold out. This year, um, I didn't get all the colors I wanted, but I did get some and I'm very, very happy. These are six, I, uh, six glass ornaments. I prefer the glass to the plastic. That's just me. I know um, a lot of people are like, well, if you had kids, you'd probably be changing your tune. Probably. But I, I like the look of the glass ornaments better. I mean, I grew up in a house where we didn't, oops, sorry, Desi. They only had glass ornaments when I was growing up. So you just were very careful. We were not allowed to touch the tree kind of thing. My mom did the glass ornaments. We did the little, um, we had um, imported German ones that were made out of wood and then we had a few um, like plastic ones like the ones that you would get from Hallmark so I love the glass ones I do have a few plastic but I just love the, the look of the glass so these ones are these extremely glitzed out as you can see um, balls they're red they had them in silver they also had them in purple but i do have a lot i don't know if you can see there is a lot of purple on my tree i was hoping to find like a hunter green or a dark green they did not have them in this particular style hi desi but um and they had them in the silver with the rainbow prism i almost got those but um i liked the red a little bit better so i got two packs of these as you can see, they are originally $5.68, which isn't a bad price for what they are. I've seen them go for more than that. I've seen them go for a lot more than that. But um, I paid $1.20, I think, with them. And these ones actually come with hooks, which is awesome. The hooks are probably behind them but it says that it comes with hooks. Normally they don't include the hooks. Normally that's something you have to buy separately. So I feel I'm pretty good about these. And they're the perfect size as well. So again, these will not be going up on the tree this year. They'll be up next year, but I love them because I had other glass ornaments. I don't know, I couldn't find them this year, which is really weird. Like they're white with, look at, like they look like a teardrop. And they have green and red, like, very metallic um, paint on them. And they're accented in gold. I can't find them to save my life. I don't know where they are. They gotta be around somewhere. So, that's okay. So now I got some more. This is one I typically do buy um, ornaments. Unless it's like a special edition Hallmark one, I typically will buy that during this. That's the only thing I will buy during the season are the Hallmark ornaments. Certain ornaments I will um, pick up. But that's everything, guys. My total bill with tax came to $17.04, so I got change back. I was very excited about it. Still very excited. I felt very good. I got a lot of goodies for the money. And I might go back for some more, especially the little bath dizzies. They smell so good. So anyway, guys, I urge you to go and uh, check out the clearances right now because they're trying to make room for the Valentine's Day stuff because they already had that out. As I'm picking through the Christmas, they're already putting the Valentine's Day stuff out. So definitely check it out. Walmart's at 75%. I'm not sure what other stores are at 75% right now, but it doesn't hurt to go take a, a look around. You never know what you're going to find. You might find some gems. Like I said, I think I found some good ones. Um, the clear ornaments I'm going to use myself for stuff. I got a lot of cool things that are definitely going to be used. That's the thing that if you are going to do clearance shopping, make sure what you're buying isn't just you're buying it because of the price. Make sure that what you're going to get is something that you're going to utilize. You know what I mean? If you're not going to use it, it doesn't, you're not saving yourself the money. You know what I mean? You can always use hand soaps. So that's a safe bet at 62 cents. I love my bath fizzies. 25 cents how can you go wrong and you're always going to need wrapping paper so 
make sure whatever you're buying that you're not just buying it on the impulse because oh my god 25 cents this is great then you're not just you're not saving money you're just wasting it so anyway guys go out there happy shopping enjoy and have fun i'll see you later bye